While winter can be a challenging time for people and animals to endure, one major benefit of the season is that the harsh conditions bring large quantities of wild birds into feeding stations. With food at a premium in the cold and snow, bird feeders end up being bustling meccas for both birds and those that enjoy watching them. In addition to big numbers, a whole new set of species head south in the winter, giving people opportunities to see birds that typically breed in the northern forests or even the Arctic. Some of these birds are flashy and noticeably different, while others fly a little bit under the radar. Here are five common backyard birds to watch for in winter. Purple Finch Male purple finches are one of the most beautiful birds in the northern woods. They have a thick bill, brownish wings, and a raspberry colored wash that makes them look wine stained. They are most colorful on the head and face, where they also have brownish markings. Females lack the raspberry color of the males, and instead sport a white to cream color. They have a very noticeable eye stripe and brown barring on the underside. Purple finches can be found in parts of North America year round, such as the northeastern and northwestern United States, southern Canada, and parts of the northern Midwest. In summer, the species breeds in the forests of southern Canada, but it's in winter when they have the most movement. Purple finches are a member of a group of birds that are known as eruptive. This means that they move based on the availability of food. The less available food, the farther the species will expand. For this reason, purple finches sometimes make huge movements southward into states such as Florida and Texas. If you have backyard bird feeders, especially one with sunflower seeds, this species is certainly a possibility to see. They will also eat seeds from trees such as maples, as well as a variety of berries and insects. For that reason, even if you don't have a bird feeder, it's worth keeping an eye out for this brightly colored finch species. Do note that purple finches have a very similar looking relative, the house finch. To learn how to differentiate these two species, check out the links in the description below to our video and blog post on the topic. American Tree Sparrow While at first glance, American tree sparrows look like a typical gray and brown bird, they are actually quite beautiful. They can be identified by their rufous and dark brown striped backs, clean rufous cap, stripe behind the eye, and light gray underside. Some other field markings to note are their white wing bars, dark spot on their chest, and bicolored bill. American tree sparrows breed in the northern tundra where few people live. But in winter, they move fairly far south into the continental United States, as far as Texas. These sparrows can be found in thickets, fields, tree lines, and at bird feeders. Look for them feeding low to the ground in mixed flocks of sparrows, where they will stand out because of their reddish-brown colored backs and heads. Pine Siskin Pine siskins are small, energetic finches that like to travel in flocks. They have dark tan backs, light tan undersides streaked with brown, and a noticeable eye stripe. This species also has bright yellow wing feathers, and some individuals show this feature brighter than others. Pine siskins can be found year-round in many different parts of North America, and are extremely nomadic. In winter, they spread out all across the continent from southern Canada, throughout the lower 48 states, and into Mexico, meaning even to people in southern states, it's certainly worth looking out for this species. Pine siskins are frequent visitors to backyard bird feeders, where they prefer seeds such as thistle and black oil sunflower. They will feed in flocks with other finch species, most notably American goldfinches. Keep an eye out for a bird that looks slightly different than the typical goldfinch, and note the pine siskin's streaked underside and bright yellow wing feathers. Common Red Pull Common red poles are compact looking, with a face that looks somewhat pushed in and a stubby bill. These little finches have a tan colored back and wings, with a light underside and a red marking on the top of their head, which is where they get their name from. Adult male common red poles show a red wash on their underside, which female and immature birds don't have. Much like other species on this list, common red poles are eruptive, and during a good year for them, they can travel extremely far south and in extremely large numbers. However, 
There are other years when this species stays in its northern range of Canada and Alaska. Common red poles can be found feeding on seeds of conifers, as well as seeds of other trees too, such as birches and alders. In addition to eating directly from plants, in years when numbers of red poles are high, these quick birds visit feeders regularly, creating quite the show for backyard bird watchers. Also keep an eye out for a different variety of red pole known as the hoary red pole, mixed in with flocks of common red poles. For tips on how to tell these two species apart, check out the blog post and video links in the description below. Dark-Eyed Junco Dark-Eyed Juncos are considered harbingers of winter, as they move south in early fall, and their habit of visiting bird feeders makes their presence known early in their migration. This species comes in many different color varieties, with some being brown-bodied and hooded, and others being dark gray with a white underside. While there are many different subspecies of juncos out there, they all sport the same general shape, with a medium-sized body and longer tail. All junco subspecies also have white outer tail feathers and a pale bill. Dark-eyed juncos live year-round in parts of the eastern and western U.S. and Canada, but for much of the U.S. and Mexico, late fall and winter is the best time to see this species as they head south from their breeding areas in Canada and Alaska. Dark-eyed juncos can be found in a wide variety of habitats, including fields, along roadsides, wooded areas, and backyards where they are a common sight at bird feeders and will often feed along the ground, but may also sit up on platforms. While winter can feel long in some parts of North America, keeping an eye out for these five interesting winter bird species can make it go by a lot faster. These birds can certainly bring a splash of color and personality to the winter landscape, and the best part is, you may never even need to leave your house to see them. Have you seen any of these birds in your yard this winter? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.